Hi, family. So, you guys, guess what just happened? I almost went to sleep without journaling. And I was... I feel like it's important to be transparent on this journey, especially if you're a newbie, because we're not perfect. But we can only, like try our best to do right every single day and move more towards God and be more obedient. And it does me being obedient. I like had to snap out of it because last night I didn't pray before I went to bed. And then today I just been getting so many attacks from the adversary. And I'm just like, dang, I probably opened up a door and then I was like feeling like I had to unblock people and like just so much stuff like I was having lustful thoughts and all this and I'm just like dang I didn't protect my mind I prayed that morning but I really feel like something about praying before you rest and like leaving what happened yesterday behind and kind of like father God protect me as I rest and like you know um if anything happened today like I command any altars to be rid in Jesus Christ like I don't know how you guys pray but I'd be going ham <laughs> I'd be going ham on the protection for me and my son and you know my family and anybody that I care about and I think it's just really really important for those nightly prayers like because during the night that's when a lot of the witchcraft and all that weird stuff goes on i don't know too much about it i'm still learning but i know that that's what happens and it is what it is so you know if you have a purpose which we all have purpose and we're all meant to be here to do something because we're all children of god um, and once we finally tap into our purpose we're gonna like go to it and you know get to where god needs us to be i'm kind of rambling at this point um <laughs> but i know it all ties together um holy spirit guide this because <clears throat> i'm kind of going off track but anyways besides going off track if it comes back to me it does if it doesn't whatever then it wasn't meant for me to really disclose and share but what I wanted to do was come on here because I just got a supernatural energy to, um, you know, come on here and share my prayer journal for the night. Because I think it's very imperative that we kind of all start to get uh, adjusted to praying right, my newbies in Christ. So, and I mean, if you're like someone who's already been in Christ and just still doesn't really know how to pray, I'm still learning. Um, I'm not perfect by any means, but every day I'm trying to strive for his protect or perfection, which is impossible because Jesus is the only perfect one. But yeah, only perfect man. There we go. So in this sharing, it goes, Father God, help me obey you in this season. I'm not dating anymore. Allow me to know my kingdom spouse by spirit also test the spirit because I've been having like, a lot of like, oh, they're my king's spouse. Oh, they're my king's spouse. Like, and God's been like, whoa, 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 whoa. You'll know by spirit. Stop trying to guess because with me guessing, it's kind of like God's never going to give it to me if I'm just like, oh, you're it, you're it, you're it, you're it. No. And I can't be thinking like that. And then I can't be focusing on that when I need to focus on my purpose, which is, you know, healing people and you know, um, making sure that I finish school and um, taking care of my son. And like, there's so, so many other things that God wants me to do while I'm here than just worry about a kingdom spouse. So that's like the last thing on my mind at this point now. So with that little explanation, let's continue. In this season, Father God, help me focus on you. Please limit my distractions. Anyone you give me clarity on to block and any uh, sorry anyone <laughs> you give me clarity on to block must stay blocked i will not block my blessings this season rid me of the lustful spirit father god and any other spirit trying to come in father god if there is any doors that i may have opened i close them tonight i give you all my focus this season any doors open in my life i close them in the name of jesus christ if i'm wrong write me 
I am doing everything in this season for you. There will be no delay. Father God, have the Holy Spirit guide me in all my steps. I seek you in everything I do. I will dodge all attacks from the enemy. Oh Lord, use me. I am a willing vessel to spread your love, grace, mercy, light, joy, and kindness. Cleanse my heart and spirit, soul, and mind. Tomorrow is a new day for me to walk in my purpose and prove to you that I choose you over this world. Satan has lost me, and I surrender to Jesus Christ as Lord. Father, I ask my angel to protect me. Oh, sorry. I ask my angels to protect me on this journey because I rid my mind of my goals and plans and replace them with the will you have on my life. I trust you. I trust your plan for me. And in Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. And then I'm going to do like actual knee prayer and everything because I need to protect my mind and my soul and my dreams as I rest. But <laughs> I just wanted to share that with you guys because I think it's important that the enemy will try to make you tired. The enemy will try to make you distracted. The enemy will try to make you not get closer to God. And right when I felt myself sleeping, God woke me up and then I was like, Father God, I rebuke anything that was trying to make me tired because in this season I am focused on you. Anything that I open, like I, I really been ham. I was decreeing and declaring. So with that being said, I hope I helped some of you guys or this, this message just came for the right person. I love you guys and God loves you more. Have a blessed night. Make sure you protect yourselves um, in spirit, mind, body, and soul. And yeah, have a grand resting or a grand rising wherever you are.